Hey everybody, I am the Creative Lady and I am here with an emergency haul video. I know you're saying an emergency haul video, lady. Yes, I've got to hurry up and watch Charlie Brown. It's Thursday night. Charlie Brown is about to come on. I love, love, love Charlie Brown. So, let me get on with this haul, okay, y'all? First, let me show you what I picked up from Big Lots Saturday night. Picked up these uh, mirror ball ornaments, and there are like 32 of them in there from the Winter Wonder Lane collection at Big Lots. And they look like little mirror disco balls. I like these, and I do have two. So I've got 64 miniature disco balls. So I can always use these probably in another DIY. Well, some earrings, honey. Yes. I purchased these tea light holders and they're blinged out with the rhinestones and they were, I don't know how much they were, but they were not very expensive. Getting ready to decorate my home for the Christmas holiday. And I had gone back online and ordered some more of the Shimmer Collection snowflakes. However, I did find enough in store, but I have enough to use either in my home or if I'm still working next year to really, really have a different theme for the holiday ornaments at work wherever I may be or at home, okay? I stopped off in Home Goods after work the other day. Wasn't looking for anything in particular, but one of my coworkers said that they had the mannequin um, dress form Christmas tree lady, but a bigger one like this one right here, but she's like five or six feet tall. Went to just lay eyes on her. She was beautiful. It was like three of them. And I'll insert each one of them and show you what they look like. However. Okay. Also, while I was walking around without a shopping cart, something made me go and get a shopping cart. These, I bought four of these wine glasses. And they were $3.99 each. So I walked around the store a little bit longer and I saw this wine tote. It's an insulated wine tote. And it was in the shade of a beautiful shade of a purple. I love purple. And I'm thinking it's got like a little zipper on the side. I can either carry this as a purse or I might even take my lunch in it. I will not be taking wine to work. But this is just too cute and I could not resist it. And it was... $12.99. So as you know, I'm decorating with red for the holidays in memory of my grandmother and my co-worker. And these are holiday sayings wine glasses. And this one says, I believe in Santa. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I bought six of them total. So two of them say, I believe in Santa. And these two say, joy to the world. This one says, jingle all the way. So I was almost out of the store. However, I looked and there was a basket like in the way. I couldn't get by. So I was like, is this somebody's shopping cart? So I just kind of bit past it and looked inside the basket and saw something really, really pretty. I was like, whose shopping cart is this? I didn't see anybody. And I waited and waited. The people who were kind of sort of near the basket never came to reclaim it. So I was like, get in my shopping cart. Let me show you what I got. Now keep in mind, I will be using this vase from Costco years ago, this candy apple red vase. When I saw this wreath, I was like, perfect match of red that goes with my vase. Got the gold on it, so I had to pick it up. It was kind of pricey to me. I don't really buy wreaths or whatever, you know, I would DIY. But this one was $29.99. I've never known home goods to have like floral decor, because that's never what I'm looking for at home goods. But this is my first time really noticing that they had a floral type collection in there. Also in that same shopping cart was this garland with the same beautiful shades of gold and burgundy reddish tone. I could not leave it. It was so beautiful y'all. So I'm going to probably put this either on the mantle or on the bar in the kitchen. I'm not sure but I'm trying to finish up my hauling so that I can begin decorating because I have pulled all this stuff out from everywhere. I got fall stuff, pumpkins everywhere. So I really need to kind of round this stuff up so that I can, you know, enjoy Christmas for myself. I do have a few more, about four more items that I purchased from Home Goods, and I'll just insert a photo because I've already put them out because they were just too cute to leave out in a bag and somebody might step on it and break them, and I would have been really upset. So that completes, I think, everything from 
home goods. After leaving work today, I needed to stop at Hobby Lobby and find a bow for the box that I wrapped up in memory of my coworker who passed away. And so I had wrapped up a giant, a big box, pretty good size box. I chose this black and gold one with the little reindeer head on it. I got this from Walmart. So I wrapped it up, it was really, really pretty. And what's so funny about it, when I, when I first wrapped the box up and left it on Monday, everything's laid out. Monday, I left it in one spot. Tuesday morning when I came back, the box had been moved. I don't know whether the kids came in messing with the box or whatever, but she had moved and I thought it was really funny. So I'm just looking forward to seeing how much she's going to actually travel around the atrium out there because she was a character and that box moving cracks me all the way up, okay? So I went into Tuesday morning with the intention of looking for a particular item that I'm looking for. And then I saw this on clearance. It's like a fall item, which is my store. And you know me, I will either spray paint it or do something different with it. It has like a little base on it that it sits up. So if there was only one, and I'm sure I can do something with this for sure. It retails for $9.99 and I got it for 80% off. So when it rang up, it was like a dollar and some change. I saw the cutest little item. I think this is what, a fox maybe? A white fox. It looks like he's holding some type of, uh, looks like he's holding some straw or some wheat or something. He's absolutely adorable. And I got two of them. And they retail for $19.99. They were only 50% off, I think. So I bought two, and I think so that means about 10 bucks a piece. So I was okay with that. I also saw this. Now, I ha it's a weird thing. I can't even tell you why I like this. But this timer with sand in it is yellow sand in it. So this has yellow sand in it. And I, don't, I haven't timed it yet to see how long it lasts. But I was just fixated with it. And it had pink sand, yellow sand and one other shade blue maybe i can't remember but yeah i really thought it was really really pretty for the yellow my home is yellow so when i put my yellow things back out it'll be right here on time now the next item when i turned the corner and saw these items i was like pump your brakes lady stop move the stuff around in your shopping cart so that you can put this stuff in here i've got them right here and i won't crumple you to death with this rattling of this paper and i'll only take a couple of them out because i got some already however i needed some extra these blinged out mirror chargers i had already hauled some before but i didn't think i had 12. i did not remember how many i had so i cleared the shelf um yeah but my goal is to someday have a company an event planning company and you know you never know when you're gonna need a place setting for 12 so I want to make sure I have 12 and of course I had already hauled the ones with the square or the rectangular shaped gems on it and I purchased just one more of the ones with the rectangular shaped gems on it because I think I already had enough however when I got home and counted I need to get one more so that I can have place setting for 12 with the, um, all of the charging. When I was checking out, the young lady in the other line said, oh, somebody called up here about those. I'm like, well, I'm so sorry for them. I made a mistake and called a store once. I was calling and asking about this cabinet back here. I had seen it and didn't buy it when I first saw it. Called back up there and a the lazy person said, oh, I don't see it anymore. I was heartbroken, but I told my husband, I said, no, mm -mm. Let's go up there. And sure enough, it was still there. So I don't believe in calling because I'm thinking the salespeople, A, they're busy and sometimes they're lazy, don't want to go because they're thinking you're being lazy by not wanting to come. So I always just burn the gas and go look for myself. Sure. After I left Tuesday morning excited, I had a wonderful conversation in there with an older couple about some pink pigs. We had a good time. They were buying piggy banks for their granddaughters and they were going to put real money in it. So I thought that was really nice. So I went next door to Hobby Lobby and found this ribbon or this bow to put on my co-worker's box. Okay, so I will try to photo that and share it on my social media, The Creative Lady, on tomorrow. So follow me at The Creative Lady or Napalicious or both of them if you want to. And I'm going to put a picture of... Uh, the box on there because I think the photo that I've done already of the holiday decor in the atrium at work you really can't see the box up close 
So I'm thinking about maybe putting her name on here. I'm not sure because I don't want nobody to just make off with my little bow and not knowing that it belongs to my friend, okay? All right, y'all. I think that's everything for this haul. Now it's time for me to get out of all of this pileage of haulage and put this stuff out on the table. And then hopefully, not this weekend, but coming up next week, I can start filming some of my tours and show you the mantle, the dining room table, the kitchen table, the bar, and show you my kitchen Christmas winter wonderland. Okay, y'all, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, I showed you some items that will help you get a better idea of what you could do with your home for home decor, for winter wonderland time, for Christmas, or any other time of the year because I love to haul and I love to decorate. Until the next time, y'all. Bye, y'all. Even still got my jacket on. I still have my coat on, and this is in support of my All Point State University Braves that will be taking on Gramlin State University this weekend for the SWAC Championship, okay, in Houston, Texas. I won't be there. Got company coming this weekend.